Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, today uh, we have an interesting video. Um, it would be a 2016 rematch between uh, the incumbent president Donald Trump versus yet again the Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. Um, I'm sure you know about both of these candidates at this point. Um, needless to say, this is kind of a bellwether of how Trump is doing. If Hillary would do better, then that would mean Trump isn't doing as well. But if Trump is doing better, that means Trump would be doing better overall than he was whenever he got elected. So, in any event, let's get started. So, no matter who, no matter who the Democrat is, there will always be safe states, just like how for the Republican Party, no matter who the Republican is, the Midwest will go to them, I'm pretty sure. Um, Hawaii, I think, wraps up the safe states. There will be a lot more, less safe states for the Democrats, as you probably can already see. Utah, Idaho, the whole Midwest, safe Republican, as always. I even think Nebraska as a whole, like the second district, wouldn't be likely. I think the whole state would be safe. Obviously, the South. Um... Missouri, Indiana, I think Georgia even could be safe. Uh, Alaska, I guess. Um, all of those states would be safe for the Republican Party. But right now, it still puts Clinton ahead. Uh, well, let's go into likely leaning toss-up. So, let's start with likely... Democratic. Uh, New Mexico as a whole, I think, would be likely Democratic. Maine's first district, which is usually safe, I think would be likely Democratic in this scenario. Um, those are about the only likely Democratic states that I see, honestly. Um, likely Republican. Texas, I think, would be likely Republican again. Uh, oh, I forgot Maine's uh, second district would be safe in this scenario. I would have to believe. Uh, if Trump won it by handily in 2016, I think he would potentially do even better in this. Um, now let's go to leaning Democratic. I think Virginia ultimately would keep its Democratic identity. Colorado. Uh, would also keep his Democratic identity. Uh, but that's about it for the Clinton campaign. Um, let's see here. Nevada would flip. Arizona would stay in the Trump column. Both of those would be pretty narrow. But uh, Florida would stay in the Trump column. It would be close because Florida is close in every single election. Um, but it would stay in the Trump column. North Carolina would stay in the Trump column. Uh, Iowa and Ohio, I think, would actually be likely for Mr. Trump. And I think the Rust Belt, which he won uh, very narrowly, would go to him as well. That puts Trump over the magic number. Um, New Hampshire, Trump only lost by 2,000 votes. I think he would definitely win by a narrow margin. Maine, at large, I think, would slightly go to Mr. Trump in this scenario. And Minnesota, the state that is what the longest without going Republican, would become Republican. My reasoning for that is it's not a Democratic stronghold. It was very, very close in 2016. However, uh, Hillary Clinton pulled it out. So thanks for watching this video. Comment down below what you think. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon.